The world of wrestling is full of many people. From writers to wrestlers, these people do everything to make sure the audience has a good time at any event. But this doesn't mean that every wrestler or writer is cut out for the WWE and had to learn it the hard way in some cases. My name is John and these are 5 people who will never return to WWE. Scott Steiner is a genetic freak and is also a person who I would not recommend antagonizing if you ever meet him in person. There was an instance which I covered in another video where security guards for a time were given orders to ensure that Steiner did not return to the building which would be hosting a live event. One of the bigger reasons that will keep Scott Steiner from returning, especially anytime soon, is the fact that he has just recently made his return to Impact Wrestling. Jeff Jarrett is not only one of the masterminds behind the creation of TNA and a four-time world champion in WCW, these promotions being two or at least one and a half of WWE's competitors, but he also had a pretty terrible departure from the company as there was a contract dispute while he was IC champion. Rumor has it that Jared wanted his pay of $300,000 for a pay-per-view before he dropped his championship to China. His last work match was against her as he was paid his money the night and headed out on over to WCW. The only way I could see a reason for Jeff Jarrett to return, and who knows if this will ever come true, but Jarrett could return for a Hall of Fame induction. Otherwise, may he continue to be outcasted from the realm of the WWE. Now, normally, a top 5 list only consists of 5 people or 5 things, but I'm going to make this list an exception and extend it to 6, because I feel as though Alberto Del Rio and Paige are partial causes to their own WWE careers being decimated. They have both made their frustrations with the company clear over a multitude of social media platforms, specifically Alberto, which means that we probably won't be seeing these two returning to harness the glory of their once memorable careers. I don't know how many of you will agree with this, but I would have to say that Mr. Kennedy was not only a solid character, but had one of the most iconic entrances. It's hard not to boo a man that announces his own name after he reaches up for a microphone that descends from the heavens. However, even though he looked as though he was going to be a huge star after successfully winning the Money in the Bank ladder match, he became the first person to lose his contract and was eventually let go after hurting some of WWE's top talent, including the likes of Randy Orton and John Cena. Remember the whole Jeff Jarrett incident with dropping the IC title and him being owed money? I literally just told you this. Well, the person he is alleged to have been working with was a writer, and that writer's name is Vince Russo. Vince Russo. Since I'm having to try this again, I forgot to include a poll. I don't want to make anyone angry about not including a poll. Um, uh, let's talk about Mr. Kennedy. How do you guys feel about Mr. Kennedy? Just d let, let me hear it. Just blast me on that one. Anyways, Vince Russo has made attempts to mend the bridges with McMahon, as he has reached out to Vince to try and obtain a spot as a writer or work for the company in any way to contribute to the product on television, but Vince was reportedly not receptive to any of this. Honestly, if I can just speak truthfully and just barf my creative wisdom onto all of you, Vince Russo has become such a meme at this point, and I just don't think there is any chance of the pride of the company being in any way sacrificed by letting him back inside. And these were 5 people who will never return to the WWE. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Uh, it's, God, I'm really bad at reading scripts apparently. It says here, I hope you're having an awesome day. I hope me screwing up doesn't affect your day. Thank you so much for watching Wrestling Hub, and I will see you later with more wrestling videos.